We're here today with Verma Johnson. We're going to be talking about some issues pertaining to race and racism and his experience. Um, so I'll just uh, get things started and we'll go from there. Okay. Verma, what, what are some of your experiences that, you, that come to mind when you think of racism? Well, when I was 16, 17 years old and in Florida driving a car, uh, I can be going 15 miles per hour in a 45 mile speed zone and they'll stop me and give me a ticket, write me a ticket. And so I seen that as a, a, a prejudice or racist thing. And they used to stop me every night coming from my girlfriend's house. So they'd be sitting on the side of the road. I had a very distinguished car at that time. Mm -hmm. It was a Mustang with big tires and painted it all up. So. What kind of excuses would they give you for stopping you? Uh, they have gave me one, one time, he gave me a, he said they was looking for a Camaro. My car was black and gold. And he said something like a red car, just to let me know that it had nothing to do with the color of the car. He just was stopping me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. And I had, uh, I had went to college for oh, about a year to study criminology. I thought I wanted to be a, a state trooper mm -hmm. in Florida because I thought they helped people mm -hmm. when they stranded on the side of the road. So I knew a little, a little stuff about the law. And one day we were fishing beside the road and it was close to a bridge, but not real close. And the sign says, you know, no parking going up the bridge. They don't want you to stop and park your car. Right. But I was two or 300 yards from the sign and the deputy sheriff stopped, I mean, came up and wrote a ticket, put it on my car for trespassing. <laughs> 